Our objective for today is I can recognize addition and subtraction fact families. So to start, what is a fact family? A fact family is three numbers that work together to create related facts. And so related facts could be things like addition and subtraction. Or later on in the year, we'll also talk about related facts with multiplication and division. A fact family is going to have two addition problems and two subtraction problems. Now, before we get started on our fact families, let's talk about related facts. So these are facts, like I mentioned, that have addition and subtraction that go together. So for example, if we look at eight plus one equals nine, that's our addition problem, but it's related to our subtraction problem 9 minus 1 equals something. So with related facts, we're going to use all of the same digits. So we're going to use an 8, a 1, and a 9. So over here I have a 9, a 1, so I'm missing my 8. So I maybe already knew that 9 minus 1 equals 8, but I can also know the answer because I know this is a related fact because I'm using those same digits. All right, let's try looking at another one. Here I have 4 plus 6 equals 10. So my digits that I'm using are 4, 6, and 10. So let's look at our related subtraction fact. I have 10 minus 6. Which digit have I not used? I haven't used my 4. And you also probably already knew it was 4. So those two are related facts. 4 plus 6 equals 10 and 10 minus six equals four. All right, let's look at one last one. Here I have nine plus nine equals 18. And my related fact is 18 minus nine equals nine. So here I had two nine digits, so I have to make sure in my related fact, I also have two nine digits, and I do. All right, so now let's look at these in terms of fact families. And I'm going to start by looking at a number bond. So the three digits that I have are 8, 6, and 2. And remember with my number bond, the 8 is the whole, and then the 6 and the 2 are my two parts. So if I have those digits, let's start by creating two addition problems. And as I'm thinking through, I have to think about how do these numbers work together? Could I do 8 plus 6? equals two, no. Two plus eight equals six, no. I know that when I look at my number bond, I have to use my two parts and those add together to get my whole. So my first fact is six plus two equals eight. Now if I reverse the order of my two parts, I can get my other addition fact. Two plus six equals eight. Now let's think about our two subtraction facts. Could I do 6 minus 2 equals 8? No. Could I do 2 minus 8? No, that doesn't work either. So now I know that I'm going to have my parts as one is this number and then the other one is my answer and my whole is going to be my first number because my whole is my biggest number and I need to take away from that. So I could do 8 minus 2 equals 6. I could also do 8 minus 6 equals 2. Now I'm going to show you something that works with every fact family that may help you to set these up. And it has to do with what number is your whole. Remember, our whole is always our biggest number out of the three. And when we're looking at a number bond, the whole is the one that has the two parts coming out of it. So our biggest number out of 8, 6, and 2 is 8, and so that is my whole. When I'm looking at addition problems, my whole is always the answer. It's the biggest number. So if I have two addition problems that I need to set up, I know that I can automatically plug my whole into the answers. Now with subtraction problems, your whole is the first number. It's called the minuend because it's the biggest number and other things are taken away from it. So when I'm setting up a fact family, sometimes what I like to do 
is figure out which number is my biggest number, my whole. And I go ahead and plug it into my answer in my addition problems. And I plug it into my minuend or my first number in my subtraction problems. Because then it's just the two parts that I need to put into the different blanks. So let's look at this one. Now I have a whole of 15 and my two parts are 4 and 11. So what I'm already doing in my head is I know that my 15 is going to go here and I know my 15 is going to go here. So then I just need to put my other two parts in these two. So 4 plus 11 equals 15. Now I already know I have a 15 here, so now I just need to flip-flop my two parts. So now I have 11 plus 4 equals 15. All right, remember my trick. I know that my whole is going to go in my minuen, my bigger number. So if I plug in my 15, then I can just put in my two parts. So I have 15 minus 4 equals 11. Again, I know my 15 is going to go here. Flip-flop my two parts. 15 minus 11 equals 4. So now I have my two addition problems and my two subtraction problems, and that completes my fact family. All right, are you ready to try one on your own? Here's your number bond. You have 13 for your whole and 9 and 4 for your two parts. Go ahead and pause the video and write your two addition problems and your two subtraction problems. When you're ready, play the video again. All right, let's check your answers. Do you have 4 plus 9 equals 13? And 9 plus 4 equals 13? Now it's okay if you had one of these in front of the other one. Let's say you did this one first and that one next. That's totally fine as long as you have this two different addition problems. Now let's check your subtraction problems. Do you have 13 minus 4 equals 9? And 13 minus 9 equals 4? Hopefully you do. So these are all related facts. And this would be your fact family. Now for today, for independent practice, you have an activity on Google Slides. And so you're going to make a copy of this, and then you are going to fill in these fact families. Do you see how they put it in a little house? So for these, you have your three numbers up at the top that you're using. So you have 10, 4, and 6. So remember, what I like to do is find my biggest number in my whole and plug that into my answer for addition problems and my menu in for subtraction problems. So what you would do is all of these would be blank and you would come over and click on the 10 and drag it into the right spot. And then you do the same with the four and the six for the parts. So it will give you these three numbers and you will have to fill in all of these black boxes by dragging the number over. When you're finished, make sure to download it as a PDF and submit it into Edgenuity.